Hi everybody, it's Mrs. McCacken here and I just wanted to talk to you about work experience. Several of you email me inquiring about it and keep those emails coming in um, because you can still pass in your hours. I know a lot of you have been working all year, some of you just started working, so you can or still earn credits to work experience. What I've done, because I can't hand you the form like normal that you would complete, um, I've set up a Google Classroom. So if you are interested, please send me an email and I will invite you to it, okay? So how it's going to work is in the classroom, there are going to be four assignments that you're gonna be given, which is the paperwork, okay? So the first piece of paperwork is a work agreement. Normally, this is printed off, signed by you, a parent or guardian, myself, and your employer. If this is still possible that you have access to a printer, great, go for it, get it done. And then you can just submit it to me as an assignment, okay? Now, the other, p if you can't, just do the best that you can. If it's just, if all you can do is type your name and your parents' name and your employer's name in there and send it in to me, that's fantastic too. We'll deal with that later on. The other piece is a self-evaluation. That is a Google form. All you have to do is log under that assignment and or click on that assignment and go for it and get it done. Same with number three, the learning plan. The learning plan is where you're telling me what you're learning at work and there's questions about that on there. There is one mandatory piece though. I would not start this assignment unless you have your employer's name and email that you would like me to send an evaluation to, to evaluate you there, okay? So make sure you have that information before you start. The other thing is your hours. So whether you're volunteering or if you're working, most people work at a pay stub, which states your hours, and that's what we're after. So if you're sending your pay stub in, just make sure I can see the hours and the dates. That's very important. If you are, if you do not get a pay stub or you volunteer and you have a record, that's fantastic too. If you can get your employer to sign it, if you're, if you're still around them, fantastic. If not, maybe ask them to take a picture, send it into them and get them to email it to me so I can verify that those hours are legit. The other thing is, um, all of this is worth something too, so keep that in mind. So if you're doing it very well, it's all very clear, you've answered all the questions, great. And that's all broken down under instructions in the Google Classroom page, okay? So if you have any questions, concerns, please email me. The other thing I just wanna remind you is, we only accept work experience hours for the school year. So starting uh, September 1st is our rough date. September 1st till about the middle of June. So please get these into me. And if you're working this summer, fantastic. That's a whole different school year for work experience. So we'll deal with that in September. But um, like I said, email me any questions and you can get working on the work experience program. Take care.